So it's my second time going hunting down here. I went back to my house and I checked my trail camera. And the day before my last video, the buck that I, I missed was 15 yards in front of the stand. So I'm sitting in the southwest corner. The wind is in my favor from a hunting standpoint, but it, I feel like the way they're active is they go into the wind. So on days that the wind is blowing out of the east, they're coming into the wind into our field. And days that the wind is blowing in the west, nothing shows up on camera. Pretty big buck there though. Let's see which one it is. Let me just see real quick. So I don't believe that's a big buck actually. It looks like it's it's just the perfectly placed. It's just the perfectly placed branches above the deer's head. From here, I mean it's three, four hundred yards away. So from here it looks like a rack, but it's just some branches on one of the trees in front of it. It's probably just like a twig like this big. right there beside me. I don't know if it was in focus or not, because I just 
just had to auto focus on it. I had to stay super still because there was about 12 does, fawns, etc. And they were walking right behind me, which the winds are coming out of the northwest, and they were walking right behind into my scent. And I really haven't been taking care of my clothes since I got home from deer camp. I need to get them washed and dried and so on, get them back activated. So I knew they were going to smell me eventually while still trying to be as still as possible. Because I'd rather them get spooked out there where the bucks that are in the pasture right now, I think it is a buck. But they ended up taking off. But there's quite a few different does in the pasture right now making their way this way. And I'm pretty sure a buck was out there with them. And I'm hoping they'll come over here. So I'm back out with my grandparents. It's early, I got out here at 12.30 today trying to beat the deer to the field. It's breezy. Um, it says it's only 11 miles an hour, but feels a little bit more than that. But I, uh, trying to decide where to sit. Since I'm here, I'm gonna be here for a longer sit. I almost feel like I need to sit in the box. The wind's blowing decently hard. Nothing I can't handle. I mean, I'm used to the wind out here. The wind at this farm, for some reason, is just really bad. Mainly because it's just open fields all west of me. There's not many trees to block the wind. That big buck, he ended up coming out last night right after dark. So, or not right after dark. He ended up coming out right after legal shooting, shooting hours. Um, my brother and my mom were texting me, and I checked my phone. I put it back in my pocket. And he got right at the point of, he got right to the fence, and then my brother texted me. And when I put it, my phone in my pocket, the sound must have turned on on my phone. And then the other, there was a bunch of does in the field, and when those does heard the text, they took off. So hopefully it doesn't spook them for tonight. We're going to find out, I guess. I'm going to go out there and look at some sign. I'm going to check the one camera. I have uh, a Moultrie set up. I'm going to see if they're coming out, see if they came out this morning at all. And I'm going to update my stealth cam camera real quick. So I'm going to drive out there with the razor so it doesn't really spook them. Pull right up to the camera and do everything from the, from the razor. And they don't really get scared of the machinery as much as they do if it's, as if I was just walking out there. So I'll be right back. Alright, so it's pretty windy can't tell. It says it's only supposed to be 10 miles an hour. And this could be 10 miles an hour, but this feels pretty fast. I took the razor out and did an update on my stealth cam. They did an update that I guess gives you better resolution. It looks like it does, but I thought it was going to be kind of like spy points where you got to ask for the higher resolution. But it seems that they just give you better resolution. I don't know what the megapixels are on a new setup or whatever, I guess I can look it up and let you guys know, but right, right here. I'm trying to hide the camera from the wind, it doesn't seem to be working. It feels pretty warm, but it's just windy, and it's going to cool off later, I'm sure. Last night, I didn't get a whole lot of footage. There wasn't very much wind, especially at the end of the night, it dropped down to like zero. And then the deer came in right in front of me, and then my battery got low. I wasn't able to change my battery and I wanted to make sure that I had battery in case a deer came in close that I could shoot, that I wanted to shoot. And so therefore I just, I basically just didn't film. I'm sitting in my tree saddle right now and just, I'm in the killing stand but I use it as a harness too. I like it a lot better more than a regular harness. One that's not as big and bulky and two, 
I actually feel safer in this than I do the tree harness, but I'm just, I'm turned around right now and I'm sitting facing the pasture. When I was down there updating the camera, I was looking at the beets and there's quite a few turnips that got pulled up by the plow or maybe they just got pulled up by the deer, but they've really been going at those turnips. So I'm really glad I planted them. I mean, it might be even better that they till that ground and pull them out of the ground. So maybe them tilling this field was more a benefit than a, it's the opposite of benefit. But I know that deer seem to like those turnips and radishes after it gets freezing weather. I guess it makes them sweeter. Trash needs to be burned right now. It really because I am freezing already. I'm not really freezing, but the wind is not being nice to me right now. I don't know why, but for some reason I had the song 9 to 5 stuck in my head. Now it's stuck in yours. <laughs>